we need to take care of our pregnant women before, during, and after pregnancy. As moms, we put a lot of expectations on ourselves, and that starts even during pregnancy. And for some women, they can carry some pretty heavy emotions when they feel like they don't meet those expectations, especially during labor and delivery. In fact, a new study says a mom's chance of having severe postpartum depression increases when they have general anesthesia during a C-section. But experts we talk to say there's a bigger picture here that we really need to focus on. I think that a lot of times women see the delivery as the end of their pregnancy. And that's a problem because really postpartum depression can have onset months later. When the pregnancy is over, the kids growing, people aren't thinking, could this be related to my pregnancy? A new study says giving birth under general anesthesia during a C-section increases a woman's odds of getting postpartum depression by 54 percent. It's only in cases where the mother has a medical reason that would not allow her to have a spinal epidural um, or there's something that's happening quickly in an emergent situation where we don't have time for the spinal epidural. What they thought was that women who went to sleep didn't get that initial bonding experience with their baby, which might have caused part of the problem that led to their postpartum depression. Dr. David Colombo with Maternal Fetal Medicine at Spectrum Health says you have to be careful, though, in how you interpret this study. We've known for a long time that complicated pregnancies with less optimal outcomes increase the risk for postpartum depression. So it may be that a complicated pregnancy is associated with going to sleep for your delivery and the complicated pregnancy is also associated with postpartum depression so that it's not the going to sleep that's the issue, it's the reason you went to sleep. Oftentimes, women have birth plans detailing their preferences when it comes to how she wants her labor and delivery to go. It's a team approach and the mother is in charge of the team. So it's up to us as healthcare providers to explain what we're doing and more importantly, why we're doing it. Even if that means having to deal with the unexpected. Until you get in the moment, you don't know really what you're gonna need. And some of those decisions are made very quickly. There's this expectation of what the perfect pregnancy is, what the perfect delivery is. And for moms who didn't have things go as planned, that can come with a lot of grief. It's why it's important to recognize the whole journey and any increased risk during it that can impact a mom's mental health. If you have a vaginal birth without complications, it's seen it's like you won. You did it just right. No, that's not how it works. There's lots of ways to get to that outcome, and in the moment you pick the safest bet.